Hello students, welcome to Rapid Course in Mathematics. In this course, we'll be going through the formulas, the concepts of various chapters in class 11 and class 12 mathematics. This course is recommended only for those students who have already studied the chapter, who have worked uh, various types of questions in this chapter because in this course I'll not be explaining any concepts I'll be just walking you through the various formulas in the next 8 to 10 minutes and we'll be very uh, covering this course very quickly in a very fast pace so don't expect me that uh, I'll be explaining you the concepts uh, you don't uh, need to study this if you are reading this chapter for the first time this is just before any type of uh, you can revise these formulas before any type of test or uh, before your exams so that uh, all the concepts are uh, fresh in your mind so let's start with quadratic equation and expression chapter uh, equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c is called a quadratic equation and the highest degree uh, term in this is 2 so quadratic equation has two roots given by minus b plus minus under root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a now the nature of these roots depend on the quantity called discriminant that is b square minus 4ac if discriminant is greater than 0 then the roots will be real and distinct means unequal if discriminant is equal to 0 then roots will be real and equal that is coincident and if discriminant is less than 0 then the roots will be imaginary and unequal uh, next is if discriminant is greater than 0 and d is a perfect square for this a b c have to be rational this is a condition so if d is a perfect square then the under root will be cancelled out with the square of the uh, d and then the roots will be rational and unequal if d is greater than 0 and d is not a perfect square then we will get both the roots as irrational and unequal now in a uh, few cases there will be type of questions in which the quadratic equation is satisfied for more than two distinct values of x such an equation is called identity and we'll use this property that a equal to b equal to c is equal to zero that is coefficient of all the terms including the constant term will be equal to zero now uh, moving ahead the irrational roots and the complex roots uh, in the quadratic equation or in any form of equation always occur in conjugate pairs means if alpha plus beta eta beta is one root then the other root will be alpha minus eta beta uh, similarly in case of irrational roots if one root is alpha plus eta beta other root will be alpha minus sorry alpha plus root beta other root will be alpha minus root beta and now this formula we already study in uh, class 10 that is sum of roots minus b upon a and product of roots is c upon a if we know the sum of roots and the product of roots then we can write the uh, quadratic equation as x square minus sx plus p is equal to 0 moving ahead uh, roots uh, under special conditions we are trying to understand what kind of roots will occur like if b is equal to 0 then the, this term will result in ax square plus c is equal to 0 and from here we'll get two roots of equal magnitude but of opposite sign if c is equal to 0 then you can take x common and one root will be 0 and other root will be minus b upon a if b and c both are equal to 0 then both the roots in this case will be equal to 0 and uh, this is a special case and you can remember it also if a is equal to c then roots will be reciprocal to each other if you are finding the video uh, bit fast you can pause the video and go through these formulas uh, by reading yourself uh, you can skip these cases three cases if you have not studied them earlier or if you have studied them earlier then you can just go through these uh, I am moving forward uh, now we need to uh, learn at least some basic properties some basic algebra uh, to go through the various type of questions in quadratic equation so first one is alpha minus beta can be written as alpha plus beta whole square minus 4 alpha beta under root so means uh, this is nothing but plus minus root of d upon a next this property is also important alpha square plus beta square can be written as alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta 
you can skip this part and uh, this property can be skipped if you have not studied it this one is important alpha cube plus beta cube can be written as alpha plus beta whole cube minus three times the sum of roots into product of roots you can skip this one and this one can also be skipped if you have not studied it earlier you cannot study these before exams okay if you have enough time for your preparation then you can go through these formulas and you can uh, derive them also from some book and then uh, you can revise these formulas here this can also be skipped this is important alpha square plus alpha beta plus beta square can be written as alpha plus beta whole square minus alpha beta this is also important alpha by beta plus beta by alpha can be written as you can take the LCM alpha plus beta, alpha into beta here we'll get alpha square plus beta square we'll substitute the value from second to this ninth point alpha plus beta whole square minus 2 alpha beta upon alpha beta and you can skip this part moving forward uh, next is we are trying to find the condition for common roots let's say we have these two quadratic equations and for common root to exist and uh, now to uh, learn first condition we can prepare a chart or a matrix if you are in class 12 you will understand what a matrix is just like this and uh, condition you can drive like this you can put a bracket whole square and two more brackets will come here in the first bracket what you need to do is you need to write the product of these extremes that is a1 c2 minus a2 c1 and these two brackets will be the product of adjacent numbers that is a1 b2 minus a2 b1 and in this bracket will come b1 c2 minus b2 c1 okay and uh, if both the roots are common then the condition is pretty much simple that is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 i hope you are with me next is an important part that is maximum and minimum value of a quadratic expression i'll give you a simpler formula that is you need to remember this p is equal p has coordinates minus b upon 2a minus d upon 4a where d is the discriminant now maxima or minima whichever uh, is being asked in the question will always occur at minus b upon 2a and the maximum and minimum value either the maximum or the minimum will always be minus d upon 4a just remember this p point and that will give you the maxima or minima of any quadratic equation you don't need to go for completing the square method next this is uh, important part but most of the students skip this part and uh, have not studied it earlier so uh, i would like you if you uh, to study it first if you have not studied and then go through these formulas i am skipping these for now all these seven parts are important from iitj point of view and also uh, first four parts are very important from j main's point of view so it's better if you study these go through uh, some book and revise these formulas you can always uh, pause the video and see any formulas or revise any formulas that you want to look into in detail okay i'm moving to point number 12 that is uh, point number 12 and point number 13 are similar means when we have a cubic equation by quadratic equation or any higher degree equation what we need to do is we need to put alternate plus minus sign here and then uh, similarly here like this plus minus plus minus plus and then let's say we need to find the sum of roots taken one at a time that we'll take this minus sign minus plus this coefficient that is b minus b upon the first coefficient of the first term that is the highest degree term minus b upon a sum of roots taken two at a time will be c upon a and product of roots will be equal to minus d upon a then sum of roots here will be minus b upon a product of uh, sum of roots taken two at a time is c upon a that is with plus sum of roots taken three at a time will be uh, minus d upon a and sum of roots taken four at a time that is product of roots will be equal to plus c upon a so that's it with all the concepts in quadratic equation if you have already studied them then uh, this video would have helped you to revise them 
and to identify where you lack or which concept you need to study again. So thank you very much for watching the video. If you like the video, you can subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you.